Hello, my name is Ricardo Semilla Ftica from Juguetes Perdidos. I was very born in Argentina six, six years ago. Uh, right now we are brewing with two in Europe, in Spain, and uh, we are focused on very intense beer, barrel ages, uh, mixed fermentation, all the beers uh, that capped your attention. Okay, uh, our goal is: Do you remember any beer of Juguetes Perdidos you drink? Um, What's kind of uh... You say six years or 60 years? That's no, what... six years. Six years, yeah. Yes. And uh, why did you start the brewery? Where was where your background? Okay. Um, we started the brewery with uh, two friends. Uh, we three was home brewers for about 15 years. Uh, brewing together at home and at some point we like to share uh, our creations uh, we founded Juguetes Perdidos in Buenos Aires uh, we start it's very crazy because uh, we started with uh, 45 barrels of wine and port and spirits you know this is very weird in Argentina at that time six years ago uh, you can't find any barrel aged beer craft in Argentina and we like to start uh, to share that kind of beer we like but uh, what's funny because when we start the brewery without business plan without nothing uh, but our friendship uh, we take note that we doesn't have incomes until one year so we say okay we have to brew another things and we start to brew very very hoppy beers the people love it and some kettle sour and you know this this kind of beer still intense beer but uh, fresh and uh, easy to brew in compare with barrel age what's your inspiration because the craft scene uh, what's the craft scene like in argentina then and now well in argentina is a very huge home brewers community since uh, 1998 uh, i i was a, a founder a member founder of the home brewers association in argentina uh, i travel a lot as a judge in in different contests at the world beer cup in united states uh, international craft beer in japan uh, here in europe and around latin america and every time i travel i bring uh, to argentina the beers that blow my mind and uh, we try to repeat that kind of beers at home and that's the way was uh, our project born What's your production capacity now? Uh, right now, the, we produce around uh, 300,000 liters a year. It's about 3,000 hectoliters uh, a year uh, in Argentina. And here in Spain, we just start. Uh, and right now, it's about 10,000 liters a month. Tell us about your, when did you start up and start brewing in Spain? How did that come about? Oh, that is a nice history because uh, we was invited to Mikeller White Celebration Ale. Uh, we served our beers in Besbletter and two with Urbine from the Struz uh, and another festival around the world. Uh, we know a lot of people and some people here in Europe know our brand because the festival and collaborations. And uh, in I think two years ago, uh, some distributors try to import the beer from Argentina and we think that's a clever idea to produce here the fresh beers the hoppy don't make any sense to cross the Atlantic Ocean with hoppy beers uh, it's, it's not the quality we like to our beer so we had a lot of friends we are brewing now in La Pirata in Barcelona and another breweries uh, around Europe uh, 
And the history is uh, I, I knew uh, a brewer in Japan in a contest uh, 2019. And I engage and you know I fall in love. Uh, she's an Asturian brewer. And I came to visit she uh, to look uh, her facilities uh, to produce juguetes perdidos in Spain two days before the pandemic and I stuck it in Spain for three months and I never have to leave to Buenos Aires again. So work, you know, remember the first uh, close uh, and... Uh, Especially in Spain. Yes, in Spain was crazy uh, and we share 24 hours together for three months and the relationship was amazing was very very good good beer came out and of that. yes uh, and and i decided to move to spain I, I i remember i called my my partners and i say remember we like to produce in spain yes i will do that i will live here and uh, i now i live in noviedo in asturias uh, very happy to be here in Europe. I love, uh, you know, I, I love the style of life of Spain. Uh, of course, Belgium. Uh, I, I came to Belgium at least uh, one times a year uh, from, you know, 12 years ago. Uh, we had the, the first cold ship in Latin America for a spontaneous beer. You don't have to say lambic because the mafia lambic will kill you. It's a spontaneous fermented. Uh, in Latin America, we was the first one. Uh, we launched a, a very big festival called Ex Extreme Beer Festival uh, in a football stadium. The Rar Barrel, uh, Trifontaine, Albain, Mikeller, Brew Dog, uh, Almana, KCBC, all the breweries attend uh, to our festival. And that's the reason our, uh, our brand is now in different places of the world. So where does you hope to go from here? I would like to brew in China and Japan. I, I think there is a... Uh, a, a, a new market for craft beer that is a little exploded and uh, right now we are in Europe uh, from now two weeks we release our first beer in the United States uh, by contract brewing in a brewery in Miami uh, and, and now I, I think the next goal is to to uh, bring our beer to the Asian market. Well, thanks for talking to the beer idiots. Okay. I'm so glad to have you come to the okay. beer. Thank you, you man. Tell us your wonderful story. Okay, thank you, man, and cheers.